nobody would contest the statement that Anthony Davis is one of the true superstars in the NBA, right? No doubt. Okay. I mean, the eye test obviously wildly passes that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, nine years, you're talking about a eight-time All-Star. He's a four-time All-Defensive team, you know, uh, three-time block champion, mm -hmm. four-times All-NBA, All-Rookie, obviously. That was a given back in the day out of Kentucky. So in nine years, his personal accomplishments are undeniable. However, until he paired with LeBron, he had no team success. You want to tell me he was in the Western Conference, mm -hmm. it was a rough road, okay, maybe there's yep. a little something there, there's always nuance, but it does seem to be very incongruent what, what he is as a player and what his teams, and I'll say teams because I'm you know, also talking about this version of the Lakers without LeBron and, of course, the Pelicans before that, Yep, his teams do not match accomplishment of, of what one of the true superstars in the NBA would generally generate. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. No, you're 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 right. And this season is 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 different in a sense. Um, well, it's actually not because uh, I was going to say something, and now I got to I got to rethink what I was going to say, BT. Because here's yeah. the thing: how many games did he miss this year? Right? And and that's been the narrative for Anthony Davis his entire career. They played sixty, almost sixty games, right? Fifty nine games, I think they played. Not gotta even. Got to be. Got to be. No, uh, no, no seventy two. So they played sixty six games. All right. So he's missed thirty three games, BT. And so, what was the narrative for Anthony Davis his entire career, basically? At some point, he's gonna going have. Down. He's gonna go down. He's gonna miss. You know, whether it's five games or it's or it's fifteen games or in this case thirty something games. And so, I I almost understand why he hasn't been able to be that guy or 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 grasp that role because it's it's like he's not he's always not available and that's that's got to be frustrating for him it also had to be frustrating for uh the new orleans pelicans and the in the, the hornets before that but um and now here with the lakers it's the same thing but i think we saw something last night which which could be encouraging um uh, because here's the thing who i forgot who we talked to a couple of weeks ago but they were talking about the top players and yeah, actually it was Julius Randall that he brought up how he doesn't he's not lifting the guys around him right he's he's a scorer Julius Randall is now but until you become that player that also lifts all the lineup around you For sure. then, then you're not really the guy right yeah. you're not really that one LeBron James is that guy Chris Paul could even say you'd be that guy James Harden uh, Russell Westbrook all these guys who are big assist guys as well as good as good scorers and Anthony Davis has never really he's never been that I mean his career assist average per game is 2.3 mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're right and for the first part of his year it's like one, one and a half. I mean, he just wasn't. It's when he, what he did. He had blocks and he played good defense and he scored. That was it. Uh, but I think we saw a little bit last night, and it's starting to be that way in his tenure with the Lakers, where he is starting to facilitate a little, at least tr at least attempt to facilitate a little bit more. And when push comes to shove, and you have to win a game, because this is really the true test for a number one for me. Can you put your head down and go score go score 40 points, right? Yes. And if you can't do that, it does not even have this conversation. And I think Anthony Davis is starting to learn one to be a facilitator, but two, like sometimes it's just got to be me. Right? I'm not I'm not going to be passive and wait and like feed me, feed me. It's give me the damn ball, let's go do something. And I feel like he's getting to that point almost by necessity because this Lakers team came into this year with so much expectation and because he missed 33 and LeBron missed two and a half weeks uh they they've struggled or really LeBron's a month right More they, than they, a month. No, they, LeBron's well he came back yeah he, but he, he missed he, five weeks yeah and but then they he came back and now he's but he's they've on struggled hands. they've struggled for consistency and Anthony Davis now that he's healthy I put that in quotes because I don't know if he actually is fully healthy but yep. whatever um, is starting to rise to that occasion so I'm encouraged but if you would have if you would ask me by the totality of his career now which is what eight seasons no nine he's seasons in his ninth season right I would yeah. say no he's not a number one so but I feel I? Like, I feel like he's 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 almost actively trying to get there now. And I think that's a good thing. Well, it's funny. You brought in Randall's name to the conversation. I'm as big a Julius Randall fan as there is, but there's nobody, including me, that would say 
Anthony Davis is better than Julius Randle. Yet <laughs> Julius Randle is doing something that, for the most part, he had, you know, he did get to the Eastern, the, um, the Western Conference semis the one year with the Pelicans. They played the Warriors in round two. Yeah. They actually won one of those games. That's when the Warriors were at their apex. They yeah. Won, they lost 4 1. Didn't they sweep somebody one of those years in the, in the first uh, round? In the first round. They may have. They might have. They might have. But he comes into the NBA as a rookie in 2012, 2013. They went 27 and 55. A lot of great rookies got their heads handed to him as a, as, you know, no big deal. Year yeah. two, he goes 34 and 48. Yeah, and they did, by the way. 2017 18, they swept the Portland Trailblazers. They swept Portland. Okay. Four zip. And, and then, then they, they lost in five to the, right? Yep, that's exactly five. right, to the Warriors. So your first year, you know, rough 27 and 55, 38 and 48. Year three, he is. 45 and 37, but they lose in round one. But that's okay. Third year, some progress. Mm-hmm. Mid 40 win total, get to the playoffs. And then, well, what happens the next year? Boom. They go 30 and 52. Yeah. Then they go 34 and 48. Then they have a bump up. That's when they got to the, when they swept Portland and lost yep. to, the, uh, to the Warriors. They go 48 and 34. And then they go 28 uh, in 2018, 2019, 33 and 49. That's when they traded him. So, I mean, I, I hear what you're saying about the injuries. That's been a big part of it. But, I mean, it's been a huge part of his narrative. But are we supposed to deduce from, from that, at least for you, mm-hmm. that you believe if he was a pillar of health all, the, all these years and regularly a 75, 76, 77 a game a year guy – that he would have been, you know, he would be viewed as more yeah. of a franchise elevator, or you're still not sure? I'm not sure, BT. Me too. He, right? Because, like, he's 28 years old uh, now. Not that that's old by any means. I mean, LeBron is playing a decade longer than he, than he is, is right now, right? So, uh, not quite, but, you know, he's getting close. Um, and I wonder, like, for those guys that, that f- fall into those roles that we're talking about here, whether it was Jordan or LeBron or any of these other alpha guys, Steph Curry, is that is it natural? Like, do you ju- do you just do it, or is it taught to you, or is it encouraged into you? And so, if I it's think the, you're born with it, I I think you're right. But if it is the latter, then it's a failing of those that have that have tried to coach him and to push him and Mm -hmm. the veterans around him but if it's the former that is it's just it's something you're born with yeah then then i don't know if he'll ever get it right because he's again he's 28 it's he's been around and he's seen the success of all these other guys who have done this who have gone into not ideal situations um you know not superstar laden squads Mm -hmm. and then just grinded until they became that guy and then the team slowly started to lift around him i mean that's the lebron story now he's a he's a um he's a he's a unicorn in a lot of ways lebron james but this the example is there and anthony davis maybe just hasn't ever seen it until he played with lebron james and so now he realizes it Mm -hmm. and 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 he and he could go that way, but I'm not to your answer your question directly. I'm not convinced that it's going to happen, and that's not a bad thing, by the way. No, no, right? it, it, you can be not, a Hall of Famer, an yeah. all timer, a multiple champion, yep. Scottie Pippen, because he's a perfect example, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and never be that guy. That's true. And, and there's no, there's no, there's no negative there. There's no like hate. It just is what it is. Yeah. Certain certain players are or or like ordained to do it, and Anthony Davis might not be one of those guys. Well, that's why you know I think we become so desensitized to the word great which is why mm-hmm. i'm always very protective of it i mean too often now i know players kind of just spit it out during you know yeah. oh, you know he's a great player and and I, i'm not talking about players but if, if you're doing what you and i do for a living or if you're an educated informed passionate fan i think we've got a we've got to throw the word great around like um you know uh, far less frequently than we do because mm-hmm. when you when there's 30 great players in the nba uh, the tears within that greatness become obscured, and and there's definitely yeah. a tear. I mean, Magic Johnson entered the NBA with wh- whatever we think AD might not have. Magic had it. That's right. Bird had it. You know, LeBron. Le- LeBron had it. Although LeBron had to learn a little bit to not defer, but LeBron had it. Jordan had it. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean. But then there's a lot of guys like at least you know this this generation that he, he, I'll take Carmelo. Carmelo's still playing. He's one of the all-time great scorers of all time. Uh, but, you know, was he really a franchise elevator? I, I don't think he was. And, the, and and his history says no. He took the Nuggets to the Western Conference Finals one year. They lost. Uh, he had a 54-win season with the Knicks, and he lost in Game 6 to the Pacers in the semis. And that was it. 
And a lot of, you know, first round duds who are complete with the Knicks non playoff teams. Mm -hmm. So just because you're a great player and a luminary of the game doesn't mean that you are, you know, you're born into that that very rarefied air of of and I left out Kobe before. Kobe obviously was born yeah. with that too. It's it's a special trait that 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 so few possess. Yeah, so few. Yeah, but I think this is a and I and I wonder if he's aware of it, Anthony Davis, and maybe he is because of what's happening in L.A. Yeah, like there there is an urgency in L.A. Like there's a little bit of a panic going on, I believe, with the Lakers right now, and we saw that in the urgency with they played uh, last night against the Suns and a win in a game they had to have. You know what I mean? They had to have this victory if they were want any chance of avoiding the play-in game. But there's an urgency that's happening right here because of the expectation preseason, all the injuries that we already talked about. But they're in, they're in danger, man. If they have a if they just have a bad game against say the Warriors, yeah, because the Warriors are the eight seed, or or better yet, Steph Curry goes and scores 58 because he's, he seems like he's capable of doing that, especially once he gets to the next season and yeah. the urgency picks up and he's hot and he stays and he stays hot the whole game and the Lakers don't have an answer for him. Um, yeah, could could they now lose the play-in game and then have to play another one just to get the eight seed? The answer is yes. And that's 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 a, that's a death set scenario for the Lakers because then they come off of that and then they got to play the, the Jazz. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, for, for a seven-game series. So it, it, this is not an ideal spot for the Lakers to be in right now. Whether LeBron is fully healthy or not, uh, they got to figure this thing out. And the only way it's going to happen is yep. if Anthony Davis rises to the occasion. Because LeBron's not going to be – I mean, he's going to play. I mean, it is what it is, not injury-related. I don't know what the heck Ryan was talking yeah, about. That was, that was odd. <laughs> that was, that he was had odd. an ankle sprain. That or maybe odd. not what Ryan was talking about, but what the Lakers are talking about about yeah. and that Ryan conveyed to us. LeBron James got a high ankle sprain. That thing takes forever to heal. Mm -hmm. uh, whether people want to admit it or not, it takes forever to heal. So my point is, if the Lakers are going to do this uh, this season, it's on Anthony Davis. <sighs> then I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> well, we'll find out. That's the thing. That's a like, good thing. Here's a, I look at it as an opportunity, to be honest with you. Because if, if you're AD and, you, and he, you're feeling healthy, he has no twinges from whatever, from his calf and potential Achilles. He, there's no issues right now. Yep. Uh, and he's been playing now for two about two weeks. Um, so we, we can assume that he's, he's okay. He looks mm -hmm. very spry and bouncy last night, catching those oops from, uh, uh, from, from what's his name? Forget the, the bald kid. Um, for, for Caruso from Alice Caruso, right? He look, he looked he looked good last night. So if I'm Anthony Davis, I'm saying look, this is this is my chance. I know that some people are having this conversation about me. This is my opportunity, man. Um, and and I'm gonna take it serious, and I'm gonna go facilitate, and make this team better, and push us hopefully out of the playing game. And if God forbid we fall into the playoff game, then we got to find a way to beat the Golden State Warriors. You know what's interesting. If you ask me, you know, who are who are the names that that can most alter favorably mm -hmm. their legacy? Yeah. Um I, I would I would give you a couple. All right. I would say certainly if if Randall finds a way to win a playoff series, I mean that's then then that narrative keeps growing that he's really this kind of player. And then next season it's you know, it's it it begins with the hype rather you're than talking, you're talking about this twenty one. Talking about this playoff series yeah. coming in. And then, you know, if, if the Knicks were to win and Randall was in the middle of it, which he would be obviously if for them to win uh, a seven game series, he enters next season with the steam that he's generated from, you know, early third this season until now. So that that, that propels him. But but he's not generally perceived to be a superstar. I'll give you two superstars who really can benefit from this playing in a weird way. Mm -hmm. One is AD, but the other is Steph Curry. Yeah, like that's a good point. We've talked about, and yeah. <laughs> this was a storyline on this show before before the, the season, season started. started. That's right. You and I were so curious. We wanted to see. All right, and it's not shade at Steph, best shooter of all time. My, he's number 20 for me. I did my list. It's on mm -hmm. Instagram. Go find it. Uh, about a month ago, he's number 20 all time for me. Some people have him higher, whatever. That's me. He's number 20. And he could move up, quite frankly. Yeah, by but, the way, that's all time, not shooter. All time. He's number one shooter. All no, time. no, that's the greatest <laughs> players. I mean, that's that's, yes. that's Michael. That's Kareem. That's that's LeBron. Just, you got just clarity. The birds. People clarity might be listening sure. to you sideways. The yeah, 20th no, no, greatest no. shooter. Come no, on, no. <laughs> that's the Duncans. That's yeah. the Oscar Robertson. Etc. Etc. Cetera, et cetera. So, I look at I look at him, and I looked at him maybe more specifically as you did as well. All right. So there's no clay. 
No mm-hmm. expectations. Again, you and I both had the Warriors. To, we had them slotted 7-8 seed. We didn't expect much from them. But we also brought up the notion, boy, if they do you know, get a top four seed and he's able to kind of push this franchise into a space that they probably have no business being in this year, it can favorably you know, increase an already great legacy. Yep. Well, he hasn't done that with the top four, nor will he. But if he ever plays around and, you know, drops a 57-point, as you said, and, mm-hmm. and beats the Lakers or beats whomever, and they advance, and they, they and then, you know, he, he averages 46, and even if it's a first-round loss, Steph Curry yep. can still improve his legacy this year, even if he doesn't go far in the playoffs. Yeah, no, I think, I think you're right. And, you know, he's in that category simply because of what's not around him. Um, but he's been great all season long. Anthony Davis, as we were just mentioning, he can do that as well because there's a there's a belief that Anthony Davis has a has a limit to what it to whatever it is he can be. But he can knock that knock that away with a couple of big games once the postseason starts, and especially if they end up you know way down here and got to play the Jazz. Mm-hmm. All right, Teague. So we'll be following for sure at the end of the season, and this is one of the disadvantages of of playing in the play-in it's from the 18th to the 21st is when it goes just a couple days and it ends on friday and the playoffs begin on saturday now thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when we drop fresh content